is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I'm sitting here again in my jam jams. Yes, this is another pajama day, but this is a different pajama day. This is actually the first day in which I am not going to work because I am now making videos officially for a living. It's a scary territory, but I'm so grateful to all of you for watching my videos and for supporting me so that I can attempt to do this. We'll just see how this goes. I want to make more videos and I'm more open to requests now. I can make my own schedule, which is so freaking cool, which is why I'm sitting here in my jam jams because I'm shameless and I'm having a nice pajama party with my phones. Oh, look, it's the iPhone 5 and the Galaxy S3. They like each other, not. So a lot of you know that the official Jelly Bean ROM has been released for the i9300, which is the Galaxy S3. I'm going to show you today how to flash using Odin, the official Jelly Bean ROM, to your international Galaxy S3, the i9300. Keep in mind, this is only for the international version of the phone. This does not apply to any of the US versions with what I'm going to be doing right now. That includes Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile. Don't do it. Don't ask, oh, uh, I'm just try it, see what happens. You might brick your phone. So listen to what I'm saying right now. This is for the i9300 only. So let's, let's go and check it out. So here is my i9300 Galaxy S3. First thing that you should do is make sure that you have the phone charged to about 60%. While you were doing this process, you do not want it to shut down in the middle of it. So don't wait till your phone is at 5% or something stupid. Just charge it about halfway or so and you should be good to get Next, make sure that you have a Windows computer in front of you, or at least a computer that is running Windows so that you can run the program Odin. I know this is a MacBook Pro, running Boot Camp, and Windows 8. The ROM itself is very easy to acquire. We will be flashing baseband version i9300. It's called XXDLIB. This was released for the Poland region, which covers Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Spain, and the United Kingdom. But if you have an i9300 device, this will work on any of those and you won't have an issue. This process does not require your device to be rooted and also it will not void your warranty. That is, if you are in your country of origin with the international version of the Galaxy S3, because if you have imported your i9300 to the United States, you don't get a warranty, so go ahead and flash all you want. The point is that installing the stock ROM will not cause your flash counter to go up in Odin, which just shows that you put ROMs on here that are custom, that are not from Samsung, and that's what will technically void your warranty. So no worries about that. The ROM and Odin are both very easy to download from the Android Authority website. I will make sure to link that down in the description bar so that you can get to that. Once you have installed Samsung Kais, which allows you to install the drivers so that you can use Odin to flash the ROM onto your phone, you need to go under Developer Options. Under Developer Options, which you find under Settings, you need to make sure that USB debugging mode is checked. Otherwise, when you go to use Odin and you try to flash the ROM onto your phone, you're going to notice that nothing happens. So just make sure USB debugging mode is clicked. Before putting your phone into download mode, it is always good to go into your recovery and to hard reset the phone and also reset the cache partitions, especially if you have a custom ROM that is loaded on here because once you flash that official Jelly Bean ROM, you may get stuck at the boot screen, which is what happened to me the first time. So very intelligent, just hard reset your phone and make sure to reset those cache partitions. I'll show you how to do that. With your phone entirely off, hold your power button, the up volume rocker button, and the home button all at the same time. Then let go once you see that you have gotten into your recovery. You can see that I have the Clockwork mod based recovery because my phone is rooted. If your phone isn't rooted, you will just get into the, the system's default recovery. Now, whether or not you have the custom recovery, you will be able to find wipe cache partition. You want to go ahead and select that. I'm going to scroll down and say yes. Now that is done. There's another step under here, which I can get to advanced and I can go to wipe Dalvik cache. That also helps to get rid of anything that's left in program memory or other things that could cause trouble with installing this new ROM. So I'm gonna wipe that as well. Now we're going to do wipe data slash factory reset. Now this should be similar whether or not you are using a custom recovery. So I'm gonna say yes. 
And that's just gonna wipe everything that is on the phone and it will then be ready for me to get into download mode. So I'm gonna do a system reboot. I'm gonna do something a little bit naughty and pull the battery. Immediately upon putting it back in, I'm going to hold down the power button, the home button, and the down button. Now you can see that it says volume up will continue and volume down is going to just restart the phone for you. So you go ahead and say volume up. It is now in the download mode. I'm going to go ahead and plug my phone in now. My desktop, you can see Odin. I'm going to go ahead and activate that. The first thing that I see once Odin is loaded is this message box thing that says added. And that is because my phone here is in download mode and it is recognized because of the drivers and USB debugging mode. Once you have downloaded the official ROM, you need to click PDA, nothing else, everything else should stay just as it is. Don't change any of the defaults. Click PDA here. It's going to open up your menu here. Now, here is my file. I saved it to the desktop. You should see that it says home.tar.md5. Go ahead and click that and say open. Now that you see the COM port is blue, the message box says added, and I have my file selected under PDA, I can go ahead and click start. You can see that my phone here is in the downloading target mode, so let's go ahead and do that. Click start. Now you watch the messaging box, and it says please wait. After several seconds, it is finally initialized, and you can see up here that there is a green bar that should be loading. That is now flashing your ROM onto the phone. You can see here that it says downloading, do not unplug target, and that bar will fill up all the way. So we are just gonna sit here for several minutes as this is writing. I'm gonna set this aside. It does take several minutes for this to work, so do not worry. That is why they tell you to make sure that your phone is at like 60% in case it takes forever. I don't know why it would take an immensely long period of time, but I guess it can happen. By the way, if it is working, your message box should look like this. You can see that there's the o Odin engine, your file analysis, setup connection, and initialization. Get PIT for mapping, for more update, start, system image, and now you are writing. Now about 75% done. Pass. And now the phone is rebooting. See that it is now loading the new operating system. Galaxy S3, i9300. Yay, it's loading! Now this is the part that if you didn't wipe your cache that you may get stuck at. It might not load after this, so make sure that you both hard reset the device and wipe the cache. The interesting thing is that when you hard reset the device, you don't need to restart it again and make sure that your debugging mode is checked. It apparently stays like that. At this point, it is entirely safe to unplug the phone, so I will be doing that as well. Sometimes it takes a minute or so for it to initialize the first load, so don't worry about that. You will feel it to make a bit of a vibration. It's finally responding. And now you can see that there it is. Yeah. This is a Polish ROM. So first thing that you're going to need to do is to select your language. Oh. Where are you? English, United States. Fabulous. Now we are finished. You can see that with Jelly Bean, there is an interesting set setting now. You can say enable easy mode. So if you're not somebody who is very familiar with Android, if you're coming from an iPhone, it'd probably be smart to start with this saying enable easy mode setup. That is quite nice. So let's go ahead and confirm, of course, that we are running the right software now. About device. And XXDLIB, there you go. This process is very easy. This will not hurt your device in any way. If you do get stuck at any point, then you can simply just turn off your device and go ahead and get into your download mode again. You don't have to freak out. You're not going to brick your device with doing this. Unless, of course, you don't have an i9300 right now and you're being retarded and trying to put a i9300 ROM onto a phone from the United States. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, just don't do that.
I will put other links down below to XDA forms if you want to read any more about flashing the ROM on here or if you have any further issues. You can ask me questions. I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at I am Erica. You can also follow me on Facebook, which you can get to a link for my main YouTube channel page. Also, just added on my main YouTube channel page is a donation box. I am making only videos now, so if you feel generous in any way, I just thought it was funny. And also, you can follow me on Google+, which I will put a link in the description if I remember. So, thank you so much for watching. If you still, if you have any questions, make sure to ask me down here. And, happy Jelly Bean! <laughs>